Hi guys, I've been growing Cucumis metrolifrous, also known as, well, the New Zealanders trade, trademark them as Kiwanos, they're known as hedgehog, hedgehog melons in the UK. I call them echidna melons or porcupine melons or spiny anteater melons or what else? Yes, whatever. Anyway, porcupine? Anyway, they're from the Kalahari. The, from the Kalahari region of Africa, the Kalahari Desert. They grow quite well here though, with a bit of extra water. I think the Kalahari Desert must be a bit wetter than where we are. Anyway, I've grown some in a tub and I've got them, uh, they've got some welled up mesh here to climb up if they want. I've been working on it uh, today, this morning. I had them growing in pots actually. We don't usually grow them directly uh, in pots but I thought this year I was going to grow them in pots and get them established first. So I just thought I'd grow them in pots rather than from seeds because that's the way I did things this year. One year we had we had hundreds and hundreds of them grown from seed in the ground and we used to sell them but they're from the Kalahari Desert anyway. These are the most advanced ones here so I've put them all ready to climb up this mesh. I've got some plastic mesh somewhere which might be better. I, was, I reasoned that this this uh, metal might get hot, mightn't it? It might burn them. It might burn them. In any case, they're from the Kalahari. They're also known as horned cucumbers, horned melons. They're very nice with ice cream. Beautiful with ice cream. They're best with ice cream, actually. And they've just been planted out. They should be flowering in a couple of weeks and uh, fruiting in the coming months, provided they get enough water. And that was my little effort for today in my horned melon garden. Horned melons, Cucumis metalliferous from the Kalahari. The bushmen of the Kalahari eat them. And uh, they're quite a nice melon. They do have a bit of an aftertaste. If you're not used to them, they do have an aftertaste, which, uh, well, they could be bred, actually. Melon breeders could breed them without an aftertaste, and they could also breed them with a higher sugar content. But I quite like them. They're lovely with ice cream. And that's my effort for today as a horned melon gardener of the Kalahari horned melon from the Kalahari region of Africa. I'm being eaten by mosquitoes.